Okay, here we go. Everybody's so excited. This is Jackie McLaughlin of Platinum with Young Living, and I'm here tonight to share with you some information about Young Living's, one of their most exciting new products, Savvy Mineral Makeup. Uh, some of you may know that this is a product that uh, Melissa Pepping had started developing a couple of years ago. She's been marketing it, and I've tried it in the past, and I loved it. Um, and now Young Living has taken it over, and it's like better than ever, and they're going to be adding new products to it also. So... Tonight we're going to cover the products they have already, and I have already heard that they've got other products in the works. Uh, I heard that they were working on a mascara uh, to come out in probably a couple of months, and other products on the planning board, if you will, or the drawing board. So let's just get right into it. Make sure my record is working. Yes, okay. So... Savvy Minerals, these are cosmetics that are pigmented with naturally derived minerals that meet Young Living's ingredient standards and they provide gorgeous colors. The mineral powders are free from bismuth and talc. These are inexpensive, low quality and skin damaging fillers that most other mineral makeup brands use. And this line uses mineral-based powders that are made of finely ground mica base, resulting in a smooth, flawless application. And just like all Young Living products, Savvy Minerals was created with quality, purity, and safety as the ultimate goal. So Savvy Mineral Makeup line by Young Living is free of harsh chemicals. There are no nanoparticles. Now, I don't know about you, but when I first heard that term, I didn't really know what it meant. Basically what it means is these are the nanoparticles are the ones that are so small they actually penetrate the blood, bear, I mean the uh, skin and get into the bloodstream. So there are no nanoparticles, but they are pure minerals, free of fillers, titanium dioxide free minerals, and they're made in the USA, except for the brushes, which are made in Italy. Now, last I looked, the brushes were sold out already, so you'll just have to keep watching for when they come back. Um, so one of the first things we have to learn about how to use this makeup is what skin tone you are. So you're either cool or warm or maybe kind of in between and you've got to kind of work with that to make the make pick the best color for you. And there's some little tricks that you can uh, learn on how to figure out whether you're cool or warm. And I kind of think these are pretty cool and you can also buy more than one color and custom blend your own. So if you find one is too light and another is too dark, if you get get them and kind of use a little bit of both, you can find the perfect combination. So <clears throat> one of the first ways that's very clever in figuring out whether you're cool or warm is just look at the inside of your wrist where your veins usually show and look at the color of your veins. If they're really blue, blue, then you're probably a cool complexion. If they have a greenish tint to that blue, then you're probably a warm color. So I thought that was kind of cool. I'm definitely a warm, and I've always known that. Uh, my skin does have a tint, uh, have a yellowish tint to it. And uh, so that's one of the ways that you can look to see. Um, Obviously, uh, the second trick is jewelry. If you tend to feel like you look better in silver jewelry, then you may be a cool. If you like, if you tend to like gold better, then that's more for the warm. So when you put gold and silver jewelry on, it kind of, you can tell, you know, I just feel like I look better in gold and it goes better with my skin tone. Uh, another uh, neutral test is think about what neutral shades flatter you the best. Does your skin, eyes, and face look better in really bright white or black hues, or do you look better in the ivory or off-whites and the brown and tan shades? So if you look better in the really bright white and the black hues, then you're a cool, most likely. And if you look better in off-whites and the brown and tan shades, that you're probably a warm. 
So uh, air and I mean hair and eye color can also uh, figure into this. It's not a it's not a foolproof method of deciding whether you're cool or warm just by hair and eye color, but they do give us some clues. So if your natural eye and hair colors um, cool people tend to have eyes that are blue, gray, or green, and often have blonde, brown, or black hair with blue, silver, violet, or ash undertones. Now, conversely, warm-toned women usually have brown or amber or hazel eyes with a strawberry blonde, red, brown, or black hair. Their hair tends to have a gold, red, orange, or yellow undertones. So I'm kind of a combination. My eyes are really blue, they're not hazel, but I also have hair that has reddish undertones. So, you know, it's not a foolproof yet, yes, one or the other all the time. Uh, so you just kind of have to um, play with that and go with the predominant thing that seems to come up for you. So check all those little tricks and see which one you check off the most of, and that's probably your best option to go forward from there. So now we're going to go and start looking at some of the products that Young Living has, uh, has right now offering to us assuming they're not sold out yet. I mean, everybody's jumping on these new products like crazy. So uh, they are for sale now. So you want to jump on them if you haven't already. Now, these are the blush colors. There are three shades. Um, and we have Smashing Pink, which is a cool tone blush. I do believe you're blushing, which is a pink neutral for warm toned skin. And um, passionate dark burnished rose. So again, these these are guidelines. They're not locked in stone. So you know if you you really have to kind of experiment and play with them. I don't know what they're going to do about uh, sample kits. People have been asking, and I'm sure they're probably going to be coming up with something in the future. But for now. You'll just have to try and see what works and make your best guess. So the bronzers, these are things that you can use for like contouring the face or, or adding more color, like if you want to look more tanned or whatnot. The uh, two shades of bronzer, there's the Summer Loved, which is a warm brown and crowned all over, which is a medium nude. So those are your two bronzers. And then we have the brushes. This is the brush set that Young Living's offering. These are made in Italy whenever they come back in stock. <laughs> and brushes are important tools if you're gonna do makeup, especially with the mineral makeup. Then we have the Savvy Eyeliner. Uh, this is an incredible black eyeliner. If you want black, uh, this is a matte black eyeliner and um, you would put it on with one of those little flat angle brushes typically, and uh, I've seen people demonstrate it. Uh, I know uh, Lindsay Elmore did a couple of videos. You can look for her videos online, and um, this is a really nice black eyeliner. If you don't want to go with the black, like I find black is a little too harsh for my lighter hair color, I tend to go with a, a dark brown, and we have an answer for that too, and I'll tell you about it in a minute. But first, we're going to talk about the eyeshadows. So um, there's eight shades of eyeshadow, and the best kept secret is a matte nude. That's the top left one, and these are going to go across uh, and then the second row. Best kept secret is matte nude. Uh, residual is a, bale, a pale beige shimmer. Wanderlust is a pale white shimmer. Spoiled is a matte pink. And crushing, crushing is a nude peach with light shimmer. Uh, determined is medium brown shimmer. And diffused is a matte plum. And unscripted is a matte warm purple. So those are the eyeshadow colors. And again, the mattes are the kind of the flatter color and the shimmers are the ones that have more of the sparkly to them. So it just depends on the look that you want. Uh, so those are the eyeshadows. Aren't they just beautiful? I, I want to try them all. <laughs> then we have our foundation. Now these colors are really, 
like you, like I said, you can mix them, mix them together to get in between tones if you want something that's not quite exactly what is here. But there's 10 shades of the Savvy Foundation. The, there's cool shades, number one, two, and three. So one would be the lightest cool shade, two would be in the middle, and three would be the darkest. There's also warm shades, numbers one, two, and three. And then there's the really dark shades, numbers one, two, three, and four. So those are your foundation shades. Um, and then we have lip gloss. These are, they're, um, it's, it says 10 shades. I don't think they have 10 shades. Um, they have two shades. I don't know why that says 10. Anyway, uh, embrace, which is a nude with a hint of pink and abundant, which is a sheer light pink. Uh, the, these also have peppermint essential oils in them, uh, with, which give you more full, plumper lips and also like really fresh feeling in your lips. So the um, lip glosses are really, really nice. And you could put those over a lip color as well if you wanted to, if, they, if you felt like it wasn't enough. I saw several people demonstrate these again on videos and um, they looked beautiful. It, just absolutely stunning. Then we have the lipsticks. There's two, I mean, there's four shades of lipstick. Uh, and you can see the ingredients to these. They're just all natural. But the colors are on a whim, which is a beige nude, daydream, which is a pale peachy nude, and wish, which is a nude rose, and then uptown girl, which is a dusty rose. So these, again, are all beautiful colors. And you can just mix and match to your heart's desires. Um, and these are the colors on someone's wrist. So that kind of gives you a little bit better picture actually on someone's skin, what those tones look like. So on a whim, daydream, wish, and uptown girl. So those are, I don't know, I love them all. I, again, I just want to try all of them. I think I'm going to start with uptown girl though. And then I don't know where I'll go from there, but they're, they're fun looking colors. I can't wait to try them. And then we have the misting spray. Do not skip this one. From all the videos I've watched from everyone, and that's the live demonstrations in the uh, hall at the convention, as well as the videos done by Lindsay and everyone else. This is a real, everybody, Lindsay says this is her favorite new product in the makeup line, this misting spray. So basically what they do is they use it, first of all, to set, if once you've put the whole makeup on, then you lightly spritz your face and it helps to set it. But also they were using it on the brushes, you know, just lightly mist the brush, very lightly, and then dip it in the um, foundation and tap off the excess and then put it on like that. Uh, another tip that I heard for the foundation was to be sure and have uh, a good moisturizer on your face first. Uh, people say it helps make it last all day long when you have a good moisturizer underneath. So as you can see, this misting spray has some absolutely yummy stuff in it. Um, it's got aloe, um, potassium sorbase. You know, I'm not gonna read all this, but uh, I love the balsam copaiba and the cedar wood and the black spruce and the orange, um, the lavender, <laughs> lime. I mean, this is just Okutea. It's full of awesome stuff as well as rose. So uh, I can't wait to get this mineral, Savvy Minerals uh, misting spray. Then we have our Savvy Multitasker. Now, you me I mentioned earlier that if you don't want a black eyeliner, this is, your, this is your product that will serve as an eyeliner instead of the black if you'd rather have like a dark brown. And you can use it as the eyeliner, but you can also use it as a brow filler and a really dark eyeshadow color. And they say you can even use it to cover gray hair. I, I don't know about that, but uh, I guess it's worth a shot. So this is a really good multitasking product. Uh, just like it says, it's called the Savvy Multitasker. Uh, I ordered it to use as an eyeliner, so I can't wait to get it. And then the Savvy Veil. 
Uh, this is kind of the finishing powder, the setting touch. And again, they use the very light misting of the uh, misting spray on the brush and then dip it and tap it. They always tap off the extra powder and then lightly just put it all over the face and that sets everything and helps keep your makeup fresh all day long. So I'm gonna try to stop share here and see if I can share some of these videos with you. And if I can, hold on. Uh, lost you. You hit stop there. You hit that. And come back to share screen. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here it is. Okay. Now can can everybody see the video that's trying to come up on the screen? If you'll just somebody say yes in the chat box. Um, I just want to make sure y'all can see that. Yes. Okay, great. I'm going to hit play. This is going to be uh, Melissa Pepping doing a really quick, less than two minute, five minute face application. You think you don't have enough time to put on makeup, but what if all you really needed was five minutes? Hi, my name is Melissa Pepping. Today I'm going to show you how to get a gorgeous look using five savvy mineral products in five minutes. Starting with your foundation, making sure your face is ready and primed. We're going to go ahead and spray your makeup brush. Tap your desired amount of Savvy Minerals Foundation into the jar lid, swirl, and apply in circular motions to your face. Next, let's work on those eyes. Choose a simple, light, matte eyeshadow, such as Best Kept Secret. Now, put on some mascara. Make those eyes really pop. What about your lips? A simple, light gloss is just enough to finish off this look. Want to take it up another level? Let's add some definition to the eyes with eyeliner, followed as close to the eyelash line as possible. And let's make those cheeks really glow with a light blush. Okay, so I'm going to hit stop share and then go to the next video, which is um, another one of Melissa showing how to do the what contour. What do you use? Whoa. For a long time, I just didn't feel good about answering that question. I was still searching for that something better. Sorry. Original cosmetics were just so full of toxic ingredients. There definitely was a demand that wasn't being met. That's not the one I wanted, hold on. <laughs> You can tell that I haven't done this um, sharing multiple screens before. Uh, I'll do it this way. You want to know the secret to perfectly contour our cheeks? Hi, this is Melissa Pepe. Today I'm going to show you how to contour in three easy steps. Starting with Summer Love and using your contour brush, let's draw a line right here on the cheekbone, creating a shadow. A little under the chin, down the side of the neck, down each side of the nose, and a little up on the corner of the forehead. Next, using the same brush you use for your foundation, spray it a few times with your Savvy Minerals Misting Spray and pick up some crown doll over out of the cap and apply just to the upper cheekbone area, giving it a nice warm highlight. Lastly, let's grab some diamond dust and give your face a little uplighting effect. With your brush, take a little bit of the diamond dust and apply it right on the upper cheekbone area on both sides to the forehead and a little right down the line of the nose. Using your veil brush and a little bit more diamond dust, Blend it all together, sweeping in upward motions to give your face an uplighting look. So 
So that, um, then I wanted to show you one other thing. Hold on. Young Living has already uploaded, and I'm really excited about this, a, um, a website or a page, I guess, on the website where you can find all this information about the minerals, uh, the mineral makeup in your uh, virtual office. So let's just, here we go. So this is what the website looks like. If you go to youngliving.com slash en underline us, so that's if you're in the United States, and then forward slash products, forward slash savvy hyphen minerals. If you go to that web address, this is what you'll see. It's like the story of the uh, mineral makeup, and you can watch a video there. You can see the products and a little bit of description about them. and um, go right down to uh, how to match your perfect, per, your, get your match for your um, cools and warms and the different colors for your foundation. So, you know, we're not going to go over the whole website because you guys can do that on your own, but I wanted to show you where it is. So it's in your back office in your youngliving.com website. Um, Ian underline us and then slash products slash savvy hyphen minerals. Uh, and that's going to give you, you can do lots of more research there on the products themselves in the mineral line. So let's see if I can get back to my, um, slideshow from here. Nope. There's a trick to sharing your screen too soon. <laughs> so I got to share my screen first and then go there we go. So to finish it out, uh, Savvy Minerals by Young Living, a woman should have, should never have to compromise quality for beauty, and that's why we have Savvy Minerals by Young Living. It's formulated to include the most pristine ingredients, only using high quality, premium ingredients, and it's here to help you shine on without sacrificing your standards. Savvy Minerals was created so you can feel fabulous about yourself and what you're putting on your skin. And the range of products was developed with purity and quality as the top priority, giving you a full variety of naturally derived products made without cheap fillers or synthetics. And that's a beautiful thing. Wherever Savvy Minerals takes you, we're here to empower you to be the woman that you want to be. And of course, as with everything else in Young Living, we have our seed to seal promise. It's not a slogan. It is our calling. So let me stop share and see, does anybody have any questions? You can put them in the Q&A box. And let me just look real quick to see if anybody's asking. Yeah, blue eyes, uh, but red hair. Um, I would go with the warm unless you, you know, look at those veins and see, you know, it depends because there's, there's like red hair. If it's naturally red hair, it's probably a warm color. But if it's a colored hair, it could be a cool color. So you want to, you know, like I said, there's the, the, uh, you want to check more than one thing. So co eye color and hair color may not be the only thing that you're looking at to decide uh, which is the right color for you. Um, I think that's all I have, unless somebody has something. Uh, the misting spray. Oh, good. Kimberlyn says she bought some in Salt Lake. Um, and I think... I don't know the answer to that, Kim, Kimberlyn, about the oils. I, I know there's essential oils in the lip gloss, but I'm not sure about the other things. So um, that could be a question for Young Living. And um, I can't wait. Gosh, mine's on its way. I can't wait to get it all and try it out. So 
It's really exciting. We've been asking for makeup from Young Living for years, literally years, at least a decade I know of, and probably longer than that. Um, in the new product tab, uh, the misting spray wasn't there. It, I don't know if maybe it's sold out because I was able to find it and buy it. Maybe I bought it in a package. You know, they had, I got on that 24 hour deal um, on Sunday and, or was it Saturday? I guess it was Saturday and I was able to get it, but I haven't looked today. I know I looked earlier today and the brushes were not on there and that's because they were out of stock. So if it's not listed, it may be out of stock. Um, I didn't see, I didn't see the brushes either. So that could be the answer to that. But if in doubt, you know, always call Young Living and ask because maybe they stuck it in a weird category. Usually they put all the new products under what's new and uh, they'll be listed there as well as in their appropriate um, categories elsewhere. They usually double them up, but the quickest way to find the new stuff is to click on the what's new tab uh, under the like quick order or whatever. Um, that's a really good question, Roberta. I don't think the orange and the misting spray is enough to be a problem out in the sun because they wouldn't have put it in there if it was. It would, it's because it's very watered down and there's, it's not a whole lot of orange in it. So I can't imagine it would, they would, they know that orange is photosensitizing and they wouldn't have put enough in there for it to be a problem. And Nicola says she found it when she typed it into the search bar. So try that um, if you're looking for the misting spray. And any other questions? I'm really excited, can't wait to get this stuff in. Um, and I, I think it's, the, it's a really, really high quality product. And I know I pretty much quit wearing makeup for the most part, except for a little bit of eye makeup, just because I, I never could find anything I felt comfortable with. So this is exciting, and I know a lot of people are really geared up about it, not only for personal use, but also for business building, because uh, this is a big new category of products that you can sell and really increase your business too. So that's amazing. Um, <laughs> the desk reference gets redone just about every year, Roberta, and so it probably will be done, but it won't be anytime soon, I'm, I'm guessing. And Carolyn's asking the question we talked about earlier. I don't know if there, there's been talk about, or a lot of people asking about a sample kit, so I'm guessing if enough people ask, they will come up with one. They don't have one yet, but if you uh, send an email to a young living and ask for that. Maybe they'll hear enough people asking and they will do that. Okay. Well, thank you all. I'm going to stop the recording.